Have a seat. It's a little bit warmer here, so I'm in my shorts again. Have a seat. Feet are on the floor. Toes are pointing straight ahead. I set weights on the side. I'll grab them later. Water. Have it ready to go if you want some. Arms by your side. Shoulder roll. Take a shoulder roll. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. From the shoulder roll, take a couple big inhales. Reach up, take a big inhale. Blow it out, exhale. Here comes your inhale. Breathe all the way in. Exhale, blow it out one more time. Here's that big inhale. Bring your hands to your lap. Go right into your cow cat. Here's the move through your spine. Lift your chest, inhale. Drop your chin to your chest, roll through the spine. Here's that chance, get some good movement through your back, lift up, round, release. Here's that inhale, lift your chest, exhale, round. One more time. Round, sit up nice and tall. Take a gentle twist to the right, gentle twist to the left. Bring yourself back to the center. One more shoulder roll. Take the shoulder roll into a full arm circle. Bring both your arms up and around, up and around. Now how big you make this circle depends on how your shoulders feel today. It's a big movement for starting. We'll do this one more time. Arms go out to the side, open up your chest. Hug a big ball, open between your shoulder blades. Lift your chest with an inhale. Hug a ball as you exhale. Two more times, chest opens. Hug a ball, one more time, lift your chest. Hug a ball, keep the hug, clasp your hands. Now reach your arms up. Palms flip towards the ceiling, lengthen, reach. Release your arms, and now we slide our arms down, stretch your wrist, your forearms, flip your wrist, and bring it up. Here's your slide down. Now it's an inhale when you go up. Exhale when you go down. Do that again. Inhale up. Bring your hands to your lap. We turn our head to the right, stretch your neck. Turn your head to the left. One more time, turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. Look straight ahead, open your feet a little wider, take some circles with the upper body. Circle it around, big or small. Change direction, take it around in the other direction. Keep reaching through the top of your head. Bring yourself right to center. Add some ankle circles. Just enough, lift and circle it in one direction. Change direction, move the ankle around all the way to your toes. Set your foot down, lift the other leg. Here's your circle around, circle around. Change direction. Now we hug the leg, big or small. You know your version, big, small, squeeze. Switch legs, big or small again, wherever it works. We'll do this one more time on each side. Big hug and switch. Here's the hug. You're going to take a little tap of your foot back. Take a little tap back, tap back. Big or small, little chance to move through your quadriceps, your knees. Let's add some bicep curls as you tap back, tap back. Keep the toes tapping back. Take your arms to the front. Little front raises here. Now keep the toes going back, arms go to the side. Little change up right here. And now push overhead. 
Feet keep tapping back. Little overhead, overhead. Finish this one. Take your feet out to the front and we're gonna go into our reach and pull. Toes up, keep the feet out and then you push the toes down, pull your elbows back. Here comes your chest and your back and your ankles, you lift and you press down. So now you're moving. Shins and calves, upper body. Two more. Here's one. Here's two. Now go out, out, in, in. It's your out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. We keep doing this. You can always make it bigger, take your arms up higher. You can always keep it smaller, arms stay lower. A few more. We keep everything in the center. It's going to be your fist. So stretch out your fingers, lift your heels, make a fist and lift your toes. Stretch your fingers, lift your heels, make a fist and lift your toes. Now we're moving through our ankles and our hands. Little lift. Get everything moving, stretch the thumb all the way across to the pinky. And now finish this, go out, out, in, in, start left. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. And again, big or small, you know what works best for you. That's where you're going to take it. Let's do one more here. Keep your feet in, cross your arms in front. Now make sure you're far enough forward on your chair. We're doing a little bit of core. Add a lean forward and now stretch through the top of your head. Sit up tall, little lean back. Make sure you pull your belly button in. We sit up tall, add your lean forward. And now you add your lean back. Right here, we're focused on the core. You would only lean back as far as appropriate for you. So if it has any irritation in your low back, you've gone too far. Here's that lean to the front and the lean to the back. Sit up tall right here. We're going to reach our fingertips up. We're going to warm up the upper back. So reach. And now pull into a W. You have to use your own resistance. Reach up to make a Y. Pull down to make a W. Reach up. Pull down. Here's your reach and your pull. Now we're strengthening our back. Focus on the back as you pull down. How much resistance you use is up to you. Let's do one more. And now keep your arms up into a Y. Take your feet a little bit wider. Lean to the right. Here comes your core. Lift the left heel or the leg. Set the foot down. Take it to the other side. Lean. Heel. Leg. Set it down. Switch sides. Do it again. It's a lean, just the heel might be good, or you lift and take it to the other side. Lean, leg up if you want it. We're gonna do that one more time. It's a lean and a lift. It's a lean and a lift. Bring your arms in front of you, gentle twists. Little twist to one side, little twist to the other side. Now think of using your core as you twist, but also mobility for the upper back as you twist it as well. There's your twist and your twist. We have four, 
three, two, and one. Let your arms come down. Take a little shoulder roll. Let's circle our right leg out, slide it in. Come back into your hips, little circle and slide, switch sides, circle and slide. How big you make the movement, completely up to you. It's a circle and a slide. So now we're, we're thinking mobility through the hip. You know what is best for you. Circle out, slide in. One more time on each side, just like this. And now you're going to slide out, circle it. Reverse that movement. Slide and circle. Let's do that one more time on each side. And then when you finish that one, let's take our arms out to the side, add some little arm circles to the back. Circle it back, circle it back. Then if you wanna make it a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Now all we're gonna do is take our palms towards the ceiling as you do this circle. Now keep in mind if that bothers your shoulders, then you make changes. We're gonna take our fingertips to our shoulders and then take the elbows around. So now you're gonna keep that elbow up and around, up and around, relax the right arm, keep the left going. Here comes that hip circle on the right leg. So you're gonna take it up and around, arm and leg, arm and leg, big or small. One more time, we have the other side to go. Circle the arm, add the leg when you're ready as you take it up and around, up and around. A little bit of coordination, keeping our joints moving here. Now take your arms by your side and bring yourself into a little march. Now remember your options. Your marching here might be best today. If you want it bigger, you can lift it bigger. Take your arms to the side, cross them in front, and then gradually bring them up higher. There's your reach up, little cross, cross. Alternate the one on top each time. Bring them back down. We'll do that one more time. Cross your arms up towards the ceiling. Bring your arms back down. Take a couple bicep curls with your march right here. There's your bicep curls and your march. Side raises as you keep the march. Now the march could be big or small. You know what works for you. And overhead presses. We're just getting our range of motion in all directions here. Now bring your elbows into your side. You can stop your feet. Here comes the focus for your upper back. You reach out to the side. You squeeze your elbows in. Now this is specifically upper back. This is so we keep sitting up tall, standing tall. Think of that little squeeze between your shoulder blades. You reach out. You squeeze the elbows in. One more time. Keep your elbows in by your waistline. Let your palms face the front. Shoulder rotation, internal, external. And there's your chance to move through your shoulder joint. Now, if that doesn't feel good, keep it smaller. One more time and keep it open. Arms come up to goalposts. And once you're in goalposts, little upper back twist. I'm not worried about how big this goes. Now this is bringing in mobility for the upper back. I know sometimes we don't like to move all sections of our back. Here comes that little twist, twist. Bring yourself back to the center here. Hands come behind your head, elbows open, squeeze the elbows to the front. Little bit more movement. Now this is really about pressing your head back. Keep your chin level. How far forward your elbows go will depend on your body. There is that. Let's do one more right here. Open your arms up. Bring them to the back of your chair. Lift your chest. Chin taps the ceiling. Take your hands to your lap. Give yourself a nice little lean forward. Stretch wherever it feels best for you. Sit up tall and 
now we bring ourselves up to standing. 